Tonight we are doing a little horsing around. <laughs> if you saw my step-by-step -step on Saturday, then you saw that we started painting a rocking horse. So he, I got at a flea market and um, it was $10.00. And I started on him. I had him in the big metal stand. And he's in various stages of uh, production here. So I didn't know what I wanted to do with him at first. And now I have a clearer vision, more clear all the time. But tonight um, we're going to do a little planning um, for him. And I will tell you that um, Tuesday Talk... This Tuesday talk, okay, this Saturday on Step by Step is going to be our Ugly Duckling Challenge. And then the following Saturday is going to be another um, collaboration video. And then the following Saturday, we'll be back to the horse. So anyway, I just thought tonight would be a good night to maybe talk about how uh, you plan either when you're painting for a piece of furniture or um, something like this. So what I've done so far, I started uh, originally, I, I didn't know what I was going to do with him because I didn't think I wanted to keep him in that big metal stand. Um, then I decided to take him out. I even considered making um, a swing out of him, like putting chain and like hanging it. But then I thought, if someone gets hurt, I don't want to be responsible. <laughs> so now I'm going to do, I have lamp, uh, there were floor lamps and I have some pretty ornate old lamp bases. So I think I'm going to try to make a carousel horse out of him. He already has a hole at the bottom, which I might have to make a little bit bigger. And I started to take his legs out. So we have holes here that I'm going to have to fill. Um, and I tried to get these out, but they didn't want to come. And this I can't get out. These things I can't get out yet. I'm going to have to cut that because um, they have little, uh, little screws in them. And I got both of them out. But these things on the end, um, I can either use pliers and get those things off and then slide the um, wood thing through, or I can just kind of cut it off. That might be easier. But what I've done so far is I've given one side of it, two coats of silks, white cap. So that's the coat that has the primer in it, or that's the paint that has the primer in it and the sealer. Um, so, but I do want to show you this side. I only did one coat. So I think you can see a difference. I can sort of see a difference on the screen. Um, so that's one coat and this is two. But the closer I look at it, he's going to need a third coat. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the planning on it. And then we might work on some of this area, like the saddle um, tonight. So. Anyway, so our plans, I'm going to get him out of the way a second. And when I talk about planning, I've always wanted to paint one of these horses. So I wanted to use something, you know, really intricate to, uh, to decorate him with. So I brought a few things home, but this is the thing that I think is going to be the most, I'm going to move this up a little bit, up oh, and tilted down a little. Sorry. <laughs> I have a mess on the table. You can probably see that. Okay. That wasn't, that didn't work, did it? Okay. Um, anyway, so I think this is what I want to use is the Latin floral transfer. So we're going to open this up and take a look at it. And also I brought some paint home that we're going to coordinate with it. So this is a planning session. Welcome to my planning session. Okay, so this transfer is just full. It's really the same design over and over again, but they give you a lot of it. And you can cut it up and use it 
however you like. Oh, nothing like the smell of a new transfer. <laughs> this is cool because they number it. This is number one. And this is number two, even though they don't number number two. Okay. Um, what is wrong with this picture? Oh, <laughs> it's just me. Okay. So that's how it works. So you can see if you were using this on a piece of furniture that this would make a great um, front of a cabinet or something. Um, I used it on a desk. I've used it on a couple different pieces and it's pretty versatile. So there's two sections that you can do this with. So I'm gonna set one of them aside, but one thing I'm noticing, look at all this. That might be really pretty to go up along his saddle um, area. That That's really pretty. So looking at this transfer, let's put one of them aside. But as we look at it, um, we can pick out, I think I'll put the screen down and that way you can look down at the table. Okay. So that is what we're looking at. I'll put this here so you can see the two of them. So the flower color, I think, matches up to um, Peony, Dixie Belle's Peony. Um, beautiful, beautiful color. And I, don't, I couldn't get my jar open, so it's wet. <laughs> um, but I'll set that here. And then another color that I think is beautiful that pulls a color is mermaid tail again dixie bell and i just grabbed these because i've used them often so this isn't even a full jar but for my purposes i think we'll be fine and then also this color isn't very prevalent but um you can see it in there on these leaves which is holy guacamole so that's a pretty um green So, um, so I think that is going to be really pretty. Now, I also think that if you look at this, there's also, uh, these feathers. Now, I don't know whether this is a cohesive theme or not, but I think the colors really blend. So when you apply these on white so like i'll just put this piece of white paper down here so you can see when you put these up against white they become really uh, vibrant but some of the colors are in here too so this is maybe a possibility or it might get nixed i'm not sure but um, that's that could be part of the plan so i'll set those aside originally too i thought i love those blue blue sketch flowers um, the decoupage paper. I thought that would be really pretty, but I think this is the answer. I think this is going to be really super pretty. Um, I'd love to do this somehow on the saddle, but I'm going to show you that the saddle is really textured. And I'll probably have to pull this up again. Okay, see all this texture on his saddle so that wouldn't be a smooth area to put a transfer. So that probably would not work. Um, so let's, uh, let's do a little detail painting on the saddle. So um, I have some very small brushes and this might be a little difficult, but we'll, we will make it work. I'm gonna move my chair over a little bit so you can see and I can see. So um, I may end up standing up a little bit too. I bought some new brushes. I bought um, a Palm Pro. These are Zebra brushes. And I also bought this one and I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like, it's an angled brush. 
Boy, I really like it. I, it was perfect for getting in all these areas on this horse. So, um, all right, so let's see. There's all kinds of leaves that run through here. Then there's a background and then there's an outside edge. And this is the saddle part. And then this is a blanket that goes underneath it. So we can make those match or we can make one, one background and one the other background, which I think that's what I'd like to do. So let's just get started. That's always, that's always the best thing to me. Let's do the background first. And then that way the, um, the leaves and stuff will pop off of it. So I'm just gonna get a little brush here and I'm gonna open the peony and I'm gonna start on the saddle. And again, I can't see this real well, so <laughs> I'm gonna, who knows whether I'll be standing up or, or what we'll be doing, but um, I'm gonna kind of hold this up and I hope you can see. I think the best thing to do is just to get some of this detailed stuff first and then I can come back in with that green because it'll be kind of raised. So that way, if I go over anything, then when I put uh, the holy guacamole on the raised part, then it should cover up anything that I got on the other part. Does that sound logical? Okay. So I hope we both can see. I'm going to move this over a little bit more. I hope the light's working for you. I had the air conditioning on earlier, but it's always so loud whenever I do a live. And I did put my mic on, but I'm super warm. I'm not complaining though. And I, I know everybody's all fall, fall, <laughs> fall's cool. And I, it's going to come, but I just, I'm just not ready to give up summer. Um, but speaking of fall, we are planning on a little fall festival at our store. It's a vendor festival. And we just got, um, a food truck for it. Um, so I'm kind of excited about it. I can't think of the name of the food truck right now because that's just, I just heard about them today and I messaged them and they said yes. So it was a very quick uh, transaction we've had so far. Okay, so I may not do a lot of this detail because for you to see it, it's kind of a weird angle. Maybe I'll try repositioning here. So I'd like to get a little bit of this done. And I'll try doing this. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it any better for you or not, but it's a little bit better for me. Okay. So I'm super excited about this Ugly Duckling Challenge. Um, there are about 30 different YouTubers and they are from Canada and Australia um, and the United States. And I don't know if, well, um, Kristana's from Germany. So I just think it's really cool. So we're going to have uh, all these people that were challenged to uh, get to buy an or just to pick up an ugly piece of furniture and um, transform it. So those videos are going to be up on the 21st. That would be Saturday. So I'm so excited about that.
Then I did another collaboration with my friend Terry Stovall from Louisiana. And we both painted a canvas and sent it to each other to inspire each other to paint a piece of furniture. So that's another fun one. This is a lot of detail, but you know what? These are the kind of things that it's, it's going to be worth it to see, to see all of that. So I recovered from my um, exploding ball last week. <laughs> if you happen to see that, that was pretty funny. I burnt myself and scared myself. <laughs> so you never know what's going to happen on a live. So we have a, let me see, we have 770 subscribers now. So if you are watching and you haven't subscribed, well, I would just love it if you did. So I do two recorded videos a week. I do um, Thursday, which is called More About Decor. And we talk a little bit about the design business and um, just not so much about painting furniture, but more about design. And, um, and then on Saturday, it's a furniture painting tutorial typically um, on step by step even though it uh, was a horse painting tutorial last Saturday <laughs> but all I got done was a coat of white because um, it's a two-part series well kind of three-part because you're watching tonight but um, but we'll include some video from tonight in the next video so if you watch the two parts you'll get the whole gist of the of the whole makeover so i'm glad that i did the um silk uh salt salt water white cap silk white cap as the base um because like i said i'll probably need some more um but I think that uh, it just where I'm doing this detail work, we're only going to need um, one coat and I'll definitely come in with, you know, gilding wax and stuff like that and add some details in there, too. So I want to keep the saddle kind of uh, cohesive. So that's like the blanket under the saddle. I guess this is part of the saddle. Yeah, we'll make that pink that's part of the saddle and if you um, do something like this you know don't worry about being so perfect with the details cut yourself a break because it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be beautiful because you see all of that detail okay so i'm going to do a little bit more of the okay, i want to make sure i get all this background here okay so i'm going to do keep this um, saddle being cohesive and carry it down here so that when you look at it, you know for sure that's a saddle. So I hope your week is going well so far.
mine is not too bad. Getting some things accomplished. I had a fun day yesterday with my grandkids. We went, um, I forget what it's called. Uh, D and S D and K maybe. Um, it's, it's in Pinecroft and it's a horse stable. And so they, I have taken AJ a couple times. He is going to be seven. I can't believe already on the 22nd and he's gone a couple times, but Lainey never went. She'll be four in October. Um, but she loved it. So did AJ. They really had a good time. Um, she loves horses and she loves unicorns and they watched, um, we watched, um, the spirit untamed movie not too long ago. So I told her she was like lucky riding spirit, but they rode a horse named Risco and he's a, he's a pony, but he's all, he seems like the size of a full size horse. <laughs> I think she wasn't quite prepared for how big he was. And I don't think that AJ really remembered how big he was or much about him, <laughs> even though he's ridden him a couple times. He seemed a little, they both seemed a little timid about touching him, but in riding him, they were no problem. But afterwards I said, can they pet him? And she said, sure. And they were just a little timid. <laughs> But I love having those moments with them. Then we went back to school shopping and birthday shopping and we had lunch. <laughs> they were just a lot of fun. They're good kids. Very good kids. Blessed. We're all blessed. Okay. So, I think that I'm now gonna come in with the green. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm gonna come in and do this around the edge of this blanket because on this one, we're gonna edge that in blue and this one we're gonna edge in the peony. I have some um, YouTube videos playing or a YouTube video and it's got very soft music. I had it on before I came on and I almost fell asleep. <laughs> so I have to remember that when I'm selecting videos or music not to pick quiet and music box music. I don't want to put people to sleep. Okay, so have that done. I'm going to lay this down a second. And okay, now I'm going to grab this mermaid tail and another detail brush. Right, horsey. We're going to have to name this guy. Of 
Of course, we'll see what he looks like when he's on his stand. So that's another opportunity for painting detail too. The um, I, I haven't gone down and looked for a while. I know they're in my basement, but there's a couple lamp bases. And I know the one I'm pretty sure has some pretty ornate detail on it. So I can kind of echo the painting on the horse's saddle in on the base of that lamp. I can do the detail on that. This might be a three or four parter till I get done with it. So I still have to do another coat on the other side and I might do another coat, obviously not what I'm painting now, but um, on the, the body. can't really see over there so I'm just gonna kind of uh, come back later and make sure I get everything I just want to get a little bit of this done to give you guys an idea of where where we're headed with this piece Okay, and I want to put that detail around the edge of the saddle. There's kind of a, a narrow band. I'm going to get more paint on there. So I can just hit that good with... with the mermaid tail. Like I said, we can use wax on this to um, to enhance the colors. We can gild, you know, use some gold gilding wax or whatever we want. Okay, this is going surprisingly fast. There certainly are other pick, uh, colors in that transfer that could be picked out and used as well. I'm just going for basics right now and we'll come back in with more details on the detail later because I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen with his mane and his hoofs and all that stuff. Um, Lots and lots of teeny tiny details. Okay, I think this was one of AJ's brushes, but I really like it. <laughs> Cute little set. Okay, so now we're going in and getting these leaves. And I think I'm gonna leave some of the that white detail on there because I think that that'll just be good with the rest of his background. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect, but wax covers a multitude of sins. There's all these little leaves in here. I guess that's what they are, leaves. Ah, uh, this color. <laughs> Reminiscent of, I always say, it just kind of looks like baby poo. But it is a pretty color, though. I guess that sounds weird, but... <laughs> Oh, 
I'm liking the way it looks. Very colorful. I think maybe we might just do a little transfer before we sign off tonight so you can really get an idea and maybe I can get a better idea of what all needs done, where we're going with this. There's little acorns in there and leaves. I can even come back like there's um an orange color in the uh in the transfer. I could come back in and get all the acorns with that. That would be pretty. Or I could do his mane in the orange. There's also a plum color. There's also a blue. There's so many more colors that I can bring in to give this a whole lot more detail and make the colors all cohesive. Um, I should have done this in pink here, but I still have my brush, so we'll grab that. Okay, I'm going to turn this towards me a second to get a good look. Okay, like I said, not perfect, but it's. I think it's looking pretty good. A lot of detail there. Okay, so like I said, we got to do something about that. But that's not going to happen tonight because I have to figure out how to do it. So if anybody has any ideas, feel free. What I was thinking is like kind of um, like my yogurt cups that, I, that I'm always uh, doing stuff with. Some of the plastic from that, I was thinking I could cut a disc that's a little bit bigger than that and like glue it around the edges and then just kind of use some mud to smooth it out. So that was a thought. I was trying to think of it, like approach it, like how you would patch drywall. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this a little bit. I'm gonna look at the horse a little. I need to get a good look at the side of the horse here. Okay, so up here on his bum and here, these are all good areas for um, transfers. And even this solid area on top of the saddle, that could be pretty too. Um, with that and I can see there's a lot more blue I need to do in there that I missed but I'll get to that um, but right now I think I'm gonna do just a little bit of the transfer somewhere just to give you an idea of how that's gonna go I'm not sure how that's gonna go but <laughs> um I really like this, that coming along. Just trying to think where it could go. See if once this is gone, it could maybe go up that way. Hmm. All right, you only live once, right? So let's see if this is a possibility. So I'm going to... Um, I'll put this over here a little bit so you can see. I'll move. We gotta name him. 
so what's the name of this transfer? It's Latin floral. I don't know. Is there a good Latin name for him? All right, so I'm thinking this. I'm just going to try to cut this whole thing from here. Now remember that's clear, so boy, I'm really messing up these scissors. Not by doing this, but whatever I did last. There's all kinds of stuff on these scissors. I wonder if this is going to work. I think I'm going to go the whole way up here because we can always cut some of it off if it's not going to work. But I just think this is kind of an adventure to see if it will work. And the good news is that there is, you know, two pages that are alike so that, you know, we can duplicate. So maybe this design, if it's wide enough, like we could do, put that together. Maybe that'll be good on the top of a saddle. Let's bring this over here. And let's see. Oh, wow. Um... Okay, what if we got rid of that big flower? We could get rid of these little things. I think that'll work. Let me get rid of these two. And we can save these. I never get rid of any of this stuff. So if we start it down here... Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this little, I don't know, they look like teardrops, but they're not. Little, I don't know what they are. And then we're going to get rid of the top flower. So we're only going to take it up to here, okay? All right, so who knows? Maybe that flower will be good for the butt. But we have a plan. Okay. This is going to be a challenge. But you know me. I like the challenge. So I'm going to peel it. Um, let me find my little stick first. Too. Is it in here still? Do not let this happen to your dining room table. I've been doing some jewelry. Okay. I'm going to lay the horse down because I need to find a stick to rub my transfer. It was a brand new box, so there should be one in there. I think I've just misplaced it or it fell on the floor. So
Yep, it fell on the floor. Okay. So now let me get him back over here. Try to get him so we both can see him. I think I'm going to have to stand up. All right. So we're coming over here. I'm wondering. Oh, I'm just going to go for it, right? Because if it's different over there, I just don't. Here, I got to see if this is going to go over too far. No, I think it'll work. I think it's going to work. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, but I'm up for it. Okay, here we go. Hope you can see. Well, that is definitely transferring there. Just kind of holding on to the whole thing until I get it um, basically down, most of the areas down. He has so many little curves to his body, so I kind of have to get him in all of those curves. And like I said, it's a challenge. I you probably can't see right now. I'll come back over here and then maybe we'll reposition. So like I said, I can see some of that is really coming off. Transferring, which is very good. Of course, like I said, this thing's still going to come off, so we'll see how this goes. But you know me, I, <laughs> I tend to jump around. I definitely jumped around in my Ugly Duckling project. It'll all get done. You guys see. Okay, I'm going to pull this over a little bit towards me and see what's happening over here. It's actually really going on good. Um, it's kind of crazy, those parts that are all, all over the place. It's just grabbing on and So the places that I thought would be a real problem seem to be grabbing. I'm just going to sit down a second and turn it towards me. Get these jars of paint out of here. Scissors. <laughs> Got everything everywhere. This might be a little bit out of focus here. I'm trying to put it so you guys can see. Okay, 
let's see. Still have just a tiniest bit that I see is just not sticking yet. But we're going to get it. I feel good about it. Oh, feel real good. <laughs> So now, oh, whoops, you guys are, who knows what you're looking at over there. <laughs> okay. I could name it after one of the horses on Spirit. It could be Chickalinda. <laughs> All right, so burnishing it a little bit with my fingers. What do you think? I am pretty impressed. I'm gonna put this back up Lord knows what horrors on the dining room table that you saw. <laughs> it's okay. We're friends, right? Okay, so I'm going to hold this up. I'm impressed. I love it. So we'll have some detail on the saddle here. Like I said, I'm going to pick a few more colors out of the transfer because we have, oh my gosh, we have purple. We have orange, we have plum, and we have a navy color. Um, so there's, there's so much, you know, that you can pull out of this that we can still do with the mane and everything else. So um, I think it's looking pretty cool, and I'm going to be really excited to see it done. So I hope you enjoyed tonight, and... I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. We are going to be talking about the different sheens uh, in paint. And also I'm going to show you a little technique just using uh, different sheens of um, clear coat that makes a really cool design element. And then um, Saturday is the Ugly Duckling. you got to see that. That's at 4 Eastern Standard Time. And then, um, then we'll be back to Tuesday Talk. But then the following Saturday, remember, is another collab. So just, it's simple. Hit the notifications bell if you haven't already. That way you will be notified for every video that comes up. So thank you for joining me tonight. And I will talk to you real soon. Bye.